While hunger may not be a merely issue in your life or the lives of your family or your friends, it does exist in the world. Basic nutrition is identified under Article 25 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights as an integral right of every human being. Yet hunger rates have slowly but steadily been rising over the past decade. There is enough food in the world to feed everyone and ensure citizens live a healthy and productive lifestyle. Yet currently, roughly 925 million people worldwide suffer from undernourishment and malnutrition. Hunger is the number one <clears throat> global risk to health, killing more people annually than malaria, AIDS, and tuberculosis combined. Contrary to popular belief, hunger and malnutrition are not merely third world, con third world country issues. In the U.S., for instance, one in every seven households were categorized in the past year as food insecure. We are fortunate enough to have food in our plates every single day, while it is estimated that one in every seven people in the world go to bed hungry every night. Because we are somehow able to help, it is our duty as human beings to do so. Finally, we should care about ending world hunger because the solutions are known and available. We have the knowledge, the science, and the technology to do it. Hunger could end in our lifetime. How can we not act to alleviate this unnecessary human suffrage? Different organizations fighting hunger today, but for the most part, they can be classified in two main groups. The first group accumulates canned food and sends it to other places where food is required. This is not a long-term solution, however, as it forces the people who receive this food to become reliant on it, instead of making themselves reliable. The other group of organizations is those that believe in making a country reliant on itself. Organizations like the Hunger Project believe in society-wide transformation, led by indigenous leadership. These organizations work to build infrastructure that will allow a country to be self-sufficient and not rely on other countries for aid. This is a long-term solution, which allows the country to survive without foreign charity. Some organizations, for example, are CARE, Food for the Hungry, Freedom from Hunger, Future Harvest, Oxfam International, UNICEF, and UN World Food.